is Big Bear and today I'm bringing you a new table, cheat engine table for the game called Frontier Hunter. Uh, what's cool about this game? Mm, well, we got some beautiful 2D girls fighting monster, I guess, but well, this game is easy, super easy to make a table. And I decided to make a table for the game. Anyway, so let's see, this is the script that we have over here, and most of them are very straightforward. We had a goal receive multiplier, which means when, re when you receive some goal, or maybe I believe that when you're selling something that you're going to receive more goal than normal, just by the multiplier right here. Uh, in final item uses, which means you can use your item and it never going down, so for example, Let's see, item. Where is that? Where's my consumable? I think right here. So you see, I had two or one over here, right? When I use it, and you see that the uh, strength going up one, two, three, four, five, eighty, and it's still not going. This one go for defense. So that's it. Easy one. Uh, Spirit multiplier. So, like, yeah, trade forward. Just more experience then we have airship fighter uh, this one is just when when you in the case where you're in the airship and firing kind of like uh, whatever coming to your face so I have like the life and the uh, ammo for our fighter over here all right player fighter um, should put this out because I thought it was like there because there I think there are three year of character and I thought that each of them would have a different one, but eventually we just make a small uh, comparison and then we can always get this one updated. So let me move it right here so you can see the address going to change when I switch character. Let's see, switching character. And there we go, we see it change. Ah, like that. So this one is CBC, and when I switching back to Ezra, wait a little bit. And it switched to DAC, so that is the change. Uh, it changed through the your current character. Anyway, let's see that that should be it about the table. Now, uh, if you just here for the table, then that's it. If you, if for whatever reason the table not working for you, okay. So I'm gonna show you how I looking for some uh, some after um, value in here. How to update in this script. So first of all, we're going to have the player pointer here. Uh, to update this player pointer, it used the mana. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, let's say, let me switch back to the other girl so I know how to do it. Uh, let's see, I'm, I'm using her energy to looking for the value. So first of all, we go to float and we have 112 over here. So first can 112, all right. Now I make it change, let's see, to, how do I, there we go. And now I do a scan, come on. There we go, so it decreased, and now it increased. All right, keep increasing. So I'll um, just keep on find uh, the energy or the health value. I, I use the energy because it's easy. At the beginning of the game, you do not really see a lot of uh, monster, and you just uh, use your ability to get uh, the energy going down. So it's right here, right? Once you get the energy, right click on it and say find out what drive to this address. Okay, click on that and click OK. And boom, you're gonna see this. Okay, now we stop right there. We only need one of the two. So when when you click on this, you're gonna see down here is the name of the uh, character function that we looking at. And you go to my script here, right? You compare this thing, and you're gonna see. Let's see this character the same spot over here, but. Uh, you see that my script is somewhere uh, we're going down here and go 
to the pot injecting here, you see that I C shall cap the state component something about C uh, plus C B. Okay, so you can see that it's dry here, right? And then you click on show this assembler. Okay, and we bring the memory viewer here. Then when you are here, you click on tool and then auto assemble. Auto assemble bringing up template. Uh, AOB injection, click OK, click OK. Alright, let's see. Now we have this one here. And. Alright. <clears throat> so now we make a comparison first, okay? Let's assume here the game changing and you will not find this, uh, you know, like Chain Energy plus CB here. You, you might get something like plus FFF something right so we gonna kind of like do both okay show this assembler uh, auto assembler. let's see AOB injection and then we have this all right so now we have two okay because this one is below so I put it a little bit lower so that we know where we're looking at and then the the job right now is we're looking for which one is the right one okay so we go down here and then we look at this part right here to see the pattern in here so come let's say we know that this is the wrong one let's take a look in there okay first of all comparing the code over here code right here so on both sides we see the code are exactly the same so well um then we're gonna use another one. Now we're going down here and see the pattern down here. So the pattern over here, I have like move, convert, move, right, something, then convert, convert, add. Over here, we have like move, 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 convert, convert, move. So you see the pattern before the injection point are different. And then the pattern be after the injection point, like move, test, and jump if equal. Over here, move, 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 test. Right. So we know that these are the two different area, and then this is this is not the right one. So we just let it go. Now we go to the uh, the other one, and you can see the pattern right here. Do not worry about this part of over here because uh, like XMM zero, uh, I X XMM zero, XMM zero. Thing thing might change, but the instruction which is like move, convert, move, they shoot state, usually they stay the same. So we compare the injection point, we see that both sides, for example, let's take the far uh, instruction before injection part, so convert, convert, add, and convert. So we have convert, convert, add, and convert. After that, we have move, test, and jump, and then we have move, test, jump. Sometime after the, uh, some of the update of the games, you might see something like uh, way not really like completely exactly the same but uh, it should look very similar like 80 to 90 percent okay so once you find out the area then you're gonna copy this part over here this is the new one okay look at the name that my code over here and this one the, the one that we just found so we copy this part over here and paste it in here Right, paste it there. It just the same because this script I just make it. But assuming that this is the one that now did it, then you go down here. Okay, after the disable, inject right here, copy this code right here, and put it right here. All right. Now we go to the inject. We double check both sides. All right. Right above the return, we can jump new mem and jump new mem. Not three, not three is good here. We double check the code here. So the code on this side is the same with the code on this side. Okay, now we got the right spot. Let's click OK. And that's how you updating the script. I got too many tables. Remove that. Where's my JIT engine right here? Alright, so that is how you update the player pointer. And the player pointer is from that you can do a lot of things, but uh, right now. I'm gonna use that to update the uh, uh, experience multiplier. So activate that one, wait for it to update the value, and going down, there should be that experience right here. Okay, so we had a experience right there. You right, right click on experience, 
and find out what drive to this address again all right most of the script in this table using the the right because it's easier for uh to file code that way that after about two hours working with this one i figure out so just put it here so we can see all right we take a look here okay and let's find something to change our uh, experience value there we go so now oh sorry not good not good because i'm already put it on this one so it's not gonna not gonna find the right one so assuming that experience not working we right click on that again and then find out what drive to this address all right let's see there we go okay so i just increase my um experience right and you click on that one this one there's only one instruction okay so you just click on that show this is uh, uh, this assembler then click on that one to auto in uh, assembler AOB injection and you go to the experiment multiplier script so again you don't want to compare in both sides again to make sure that everything looks good so uh, this part right here the injection here the area around it should look very similar to the area around my code over here except in like these are code and register over here just the instruction if they look the same then they are good all right then the same thing uh, with the other one we copy this one here and something wrong here well it doesn't matter we just put it here okay and then we do this copy this one here copy this one here okay and let's see what else do we have we double checking the inject over here right about the return both sides look the same okay then we compare the code here both sides look the same okay and that should be it all right then you if this one are different then you have to copy the thing from here and paste it here okay because that uh, update the new one now anything in new mem uh anything that not appear over here you do not touch it okay now click okay and we do it again so let's see if this one gonna work we have uh 47 here okay let's turn thing off i'm gonna put this over here so we can see right 47 let's say assuming that the multiplier is at 1 which is set the default we have 47 right now kill this one it increased to 55 so that one gave us 8 experience now let's multiply it by 20 usually when I test let me put I put big number in here so we can see like the, the change drastic all right let's see hit this one and boom now we have like 215 so that means the multiplier the experience multiplier is working well right here so that should be it for the it's the same with the goal receive multiplier or infinity item usage um you just file for the first item quality and you try to use it and oh um, sorry tracking like what drive to the quality and try to use it then you're gonna see the instruction of um, what causing that and then you compare in the injection part and you just you know update the script just like what i just show you all right that's all for today thank you for watching and if you have any question or uh, any concern put them in the, in the uh, comment and i will try to answer thank you